After hearing about AMP, you might be thinking, wait, I get that AMP solves performance issues for sites that don't know better, but I do. My site is already pretty fast. And hey, good for you. If everyone was like you, maybe we wouldn't need AMP in the first place and the mobile web would have been fast and user-friendly from the get-go. So why can't you, who build a perfectly fine mobile site, be in Google's top stories carousel or anywhere else AMP is surfaced? And the answer is that platforms would love to, but they can't. Even though I can see that your page is fast with my own two eyes, it's actually surprisingly hard to measure it reliably with a computer. A bit like it's relatively easy for humans, but crazy hard for computers to distinguish between a snake from a shoelace. Web developers and platforms everywhere are working hard at solving the problem of reliable speed measurement with promising projects like Lighthouse. But in reality, we're simply not there yet. And even in a future where we, the web community, is able to reliably measure your site's performance, we're still only halfway there. AMP has a few tricks up its sleeve that go far beyond simple performance improvements. Take, for example, the static layout system used in AMP. It ensures that every element on the page has a known width and height, even before external assets have finished loading. Something that standard HTML can't guarantee, as any picture without its defined size could push content down. And here's the key. By doing that, AMP can make a prediction of what the user actually sees when they arrive on a given AMP page. With that intelligence, a platform like Google can request the preloading of multiple AMP pages at the same time, because each just preloads the first viewport, making it very cheap to do so. This explains ultimately why AMP pages don't just feel fast, but near instant. In order to achieve this intelligent viewport preloading on normal websites, we'd have to quite heavily change or extend the CSS specification, which isn't impossible per se, but will take a little bit more time. In the meantime, in the spirit of the extensible web manifesto, we're sticking to a solution that offers these capabilities and many more today. And that's AMP. The perfect is the enemy of the good, as the saying goes. But we want to get to perfect. If you're a developer, help us find the right long-term solutions, maybe even web standards, that will upgrade not just AMP pages, but every site on the web. Subscribe for more of this and get in touch via the comments below or on Twitter. Onwards.